What's going on everybody? This is Mike living with 3M and welcome back to the channel once again. Today we've got an interesting mod that I'm gonna do. And before any of that gets started, I wanna give a huge shout out to my boy Coyote Mike out in Texas. I want you guys to check out this channel. <laughs> it's something, man, this truck is awesome. The guy is my inspiration for doing Legend, my truck. And also TFB J Ford and he is uh, in the Carolinas also. I think he, he's down towards South Carolina. But that truck, if you pass it on the road, man, you, you will know him in an instant. So TFB J Ford, huge shout out to you and my brother Coyote Mike. I want you guys to check them out. You will not be sorry, I promise. Okay guys, the Amazon delivery driver was kind enough to drop this off this morning. This is new project for Legend. Since Legend is not a daily driver, and some of you guys, I know a lot of you guys drive your trucks daily and that is great, but mine is not a daily driver or at least in the last few years, it's been converted to non-daily driver. So, <clears throat> how do I plan on keeping the battery charged? All right, there's your answer right there. No code genius. Uh, battery maintainer, this is a trickle charger. If you guys have ever heard of a trickle charger, uh, you place it on your boats, ATVs, golf carts, you know, whatever. <clears throat> but the difference in this video, sorry, I'm still under the weather, guys. I'm fighting off, uh, I don't know if it's the Omicron or the, or whatever. I am just had the yuck thrown on me after Christmas and uh, trying to get out from under this. But anyway, what we've got here is I'm gonna put this on the truck and it's different. Usually people will just take this out to their truck, pop the hood and charge the battery for a few days, then remove this. I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna do something a little unique. I think I've seen it done a few times, but there's not a lot of videos on it. We're going to mount this thing to the truck underneath the hood. And it's gonna be connected to the battery constant. So all we have to do is run a drop cord and plug up. This brand new, never opened. So we're gonna see what we've got here. All right, looks like this way. That is a lot smaller than I anticipated, so that's great. Small is good in this situation that we're looking for. So yeah, I was thinking it's gonna be about the size of the box. Wow, this is gonna be perfect. So, okay, I'm just noticing this. So that would normally plug into an outlet. All right, we can, uh, that's not a game changer all right you got these yeah so that will plug into this i was hoping there would be some ring terminals but no problem so we will we will go out to the truck i uh, will go through the workshop and see what modifications i need to make to make this thing work I will show you guys exactly what I'm going to do. So first time for me, probably first time for you guys of having this mounted on your truck. So use me as the guinea pig. We'll see how it goes. All right. Good. Come out. Off the hood on the truck. 
Yeah, see the battery is over here, right there. Okay. Set this right here for a moment. Okay, so we have these little gator clips, and that's for a, just temporary. You just put them on. We're gonna mount this somewhere back here. I'll get into that here shortly of where I'm gonna mount it. I'm probably gonna use a small drop cord. A small drop cord is what I'm thinking now. So we'll hook to that. I've got an idea. Since it didn't come with ring terminals, I'm looking and it takes an Allen screw to remove these, but these are actual ring terminals connected to the gator clips. So I may have to drill them out, I'm not sure. I don't know, they may fit that right there. Yeah, I've got a small uh, bolt and uh, nut where that connects, so we may be able to go right onto that. Okay, so what we're, what I'm wanting to do is these gator clips remove this with an allen wrench and what you're gonna be left with is this so with that uh, I'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and loosen this one we'll try and these are on pretty tight so try not to strip strip it out That is loose. We're not gonna need that screw anymore. Let's set that over here. Or the Allen wrench anymore. Set those out of the way. So basically, you're gonna discard these alligator clips. Some of you guys will be like, yeah, I can mount it under here and I will just leave it clipped on the battery if you guys can see that all too good but you know I just don't recommend that going down the road it's just too much stuff that can happen so I like a more of a permanent solution so it's not uh, moving around and, and everything so I'd already lifted this up earlier so we'll see um, Make sure that fits. Yes, that will fit right on that. I just done a quick test fit. So where the stereo connection on the battery back here is mounted. Um, and also, let me lift this up, show you guys right here. It's, these terminals are way too big, but this one is actually Perfect. So that's where we're gonna mount. So discard the gator clips with an Allen wrench, you remove them. Now we'll put these right on and run our wire. All right, so I'm trying to hold all this, uh, the camera and do everything. So this is a 10 millimeter. Uh, I never advise using an adjustable on battery terminals for the main reason that they get wallowed out and stripped over, stripped out, whatever you want to call it. It's just over time, it's best to use the right size wrench for the job. But we do with what we got sometimes and I understand that. All right, so now we're gonna mount this one just like this. And this is really tough with one hand. So if I'm doing this with one hand, guys, you know, just like I did my air filter over there, in the dark with one hand change, 
you guys know you can do this as well. So, all right. All right, now tighten that down. We will go ahead and install this one and continue on. Okay, I tried to set the tripod up a little better. Uh, we, as we just connected our negative, that was a 10 millimeter. Found something very interesting out. On the positive, it's an 11 millimeter. An 11, guys, not a 10. So positive is an 11 millimeter for the small terminal. And for the exact same terminal on the negative, it's a 10. So there is a difference. You'll need a 10 and an 11. All right, you see what I'm doing? Putting that on there. Careful not to mess with the stereo connections that I installed in another video. You guys be sure and check out all my other videos with my stereo, electrical. I mean, man, I have tons of videos. I love modding the truck. I love doing stuff. So please, guys, subscribe and like the videos. It really helps your boy out. All right, so we're, we're connected there. I'm in my little shop building real quick just to show you guys. Hey, I've got jump boxes charging up marine batteries for the boat. Uh, so I'm not against just pulling out the old jump box, popping the hood, and charging. So don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing on anybody that loves to do that. Hey, I'm all for it too. But I just got to thinking a video that a lot of people don't do or don't take the time to do. Um, I just thought it was really neat to have my onboard charger. Why not? I've got several onboard chargers on my boat with my trolling motor and engine and stereo and all that that drains batteries. So the truck is not driven a lot, just on weekends or towing the boat. So that's one of the reasons. Okay guys, I pulled the truck out. Um, just wanna let you know that I always recommend a GFI breaker when plugging any kind of charging system in, just like, you know, a hair dryer inside the house. Cause just in case you don't wanna burn the truck down. I know it's got batteries, um, not batteries, it's got uh, fuses, all that good stuff, but it's never, never a good idea to not go without a GFI. All right, so there we have it. There's that, and come up here, there's our power. Now I should be able to cycle, yes. You can go through the, it won't even let you do six volt, that's good, it blocks it out, so. All right, 12 volt, and there we go. That's a red light that is pulsating to let me know that the charge is happening. All right, so I, I am gonna go by the uh, auto parts store, give me some black wire loom, kind of like we done the stereo in, cause I'm, like I said, I'm OCD. Some of these wires just drive me crazy. But it's sort of permanent, but sort of temporary. It's not just a, quick jumper box fix so all right guys so there it is just run it over there I, instead of out normally the truck will be parked under there and i run it over to the shop building but today i just uh i wanted to get in the shade really everything else is in the sun and you can't hardly the glares so this pulled it over here at the house let you see there we go so if you're thinking about doing any type of charger, so I'm not just saying the NOCO Genius, um, anything that uh, will suffice, that's reputable, I recommend doing it. All right, guys, there we go. That's the NOCO Genius battery charger, trickle charger install that keeps it on the vehicle. So if you guys need any more information, just please hit me up in the comments or you have some information for me. I'm not an expert at this by any means, but I do know that right over there, I keep that charged up year round and it works being on board there. So I figured why not here? 
enjoying the sunshine today here in North Carolina. It's cold as all, it's like 38 degrees. But anyway, you guys take care. I will catch you in the next video.